This little video is going to give you some background information on the activity regarding um, taking out wheel bearings, tapered roller bearings, uh, washing them, repacking them, reinstalling them. So here I have a brake rotor off a pickup truck. Uh, it's not only trucks that use tapered roller bearings, but if you got a little utility trailer, snowmobile trailer, boat trailer, it's something you have to do every couple of years for sure to uh, prevent problems with it. So. Uh, first thing you got to do is take the little cap off the top. The best thing to do that is with a pair of these uh, adjustable jaw pliers. All right, and you just back and forth, back and forth, pop it off. What should be in here is a cotter pin bent to prevent this castellated nut from being able to come loose. So take a pair of side cutters and turn the little cotter pin, and this is what a cotter pin looks like. All right and you got to turn it so that way it will you can get it out so you can get a grip on it so let's see here there push it through a little bit and get a grip on it there yep and pull her out you are not going to be reusing this you never reuse an old cotter pin okay remember that never reuse it now this nut we got to get loose so you just take the pliers loosen it and you should be able to turn it out by hand unless there's a problem with the threads. Yep, there we go. Okay, so you undo the nut. That's called a castellated nut because it looks like a castle. The top of a castle and you got little guys with their bow and arrows shooting out through there. Alright. Okay, then there should be a washer here but to get that off you can just pull the whole thing off. Now there's a little bit of weight to that so be aware of that. Okay. And here is the tapered uh, roller bearing. It's a bearing with tapered rollers. So that's why it's called a tapered roller bearing. Okay. Now it sits in the hub here in what's called a race. So here is that bearing. And I've already popped out the race. This sits in here and spins. It's a match set. They both have numbers written on here. You need those numbers when you get new, uh, when you go to buy tapered roller bearings. It's very important that you pop these out and you write down that number or take this in with you so they can read that number because that's what you need, the information, to get the proper uh, set of the tapered roller bearing and the race. So there we go. Now how did I get that out? I'm going to show you how I got that out. So here's, here's my, all right. Uh, my uh, rotor. You can get yourself a uh, pin punch that's been nice, it's nice 90 degree uh, cut at the end, nice and clean, and a hammer. All right. And in, I'm going to put this down inside there so it is sitting up against the edge. And basically, I'm going to hit this punch with my hammer so it goes boom, that side, boom, that side, boom, here boom there so it's gonna work it out nice and evenly okay so that's what I'm gonna do well, she's sliding up there we go come on I'm going east, west, north, south. So I'm, I'm mixing it up. Okay. There we go. And I might have to just put this up here. And there we go. There it is. All right. Notice it's straight up and down here. But on the inside edge, it's tapered like that. So it's coming in like this. Tapered edge, flat edge tapered edge on the inside. All right, so there we go. I've got my race out. I've got my bearing. You're going to take these over to the wash tank. You're going to wash them out and make sure they're nice and clean. Then um, dry them all off. You're going to show them to me and then you're going to reinstall them. And I'll make that the second part of the video because my battery is about to die here. So uh, take rags, wipe these all off. Well, first wash them, then dry them all off. 
take a rag, clean out the inside portion here. Be careful not to cut yourself. There's sharp edges on the inside. So use a uh, cloth rag like this to get in there and get all the old grease out. And then, this is called the spindle. That's what the races sit on here. Okay, and oh, sorry, in terms of the bearing, I should say, within the race. So there we go. It sits like that. Okay. And that spins. So make sure you clean all this off nice and clean. And especially down here where this seal sits that holds the grease in. You always replace the seal when you replace the bearings. This is going to sit down in there like that. And it has to be, so that surface right down here has to be really nice and clean too. Okay? So spindle. You're going to have two races, a large and a small. Two bearings, a large and a small. The old cotter pin. And your, the nut, the washer, and the cap. All right, so that's it for part one. So you're going to go wash all those parts up and uh, clean them off. And then for part two, I'll show you how to repack bearings and reinstall the races and reinstall the bearing and set the preload on the bearings so it's not going to be too tight. So that's the end of part one.